Hey guys, how's it going? Now we've previously talked about how Microsoft Edge is a fantastic web browser and a lot of users should actually use it instead of Chrome or any other web browser. It comes preloaded with a lot of features and interestingly Microsoft have just added a new feature to it. Now while the feature is available in just the canary build of it, the new feature is called Microsoft Draw. And what it does is that it basically allows you to share files easily from your phone to your desktop browser to and fro. But how do you actually use that? Well, that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'll show you how you can easily transfer files and even notes using the Microsoft Edge browser on your PC and mobile. Let's get started. Now before I actually talk about how to actually use it, let's just talk about the feature in itself for a bit. See Microsoft Edge Drop is basically a feature inside the Edge browser that lets users share and sync notes right from the Edge browser. Now the thing to note here is that the files that you share through Edge Drop are uploaded to your OneDrive account. With this feature you can send files and access them from within Edge on other connected devices as long as they are linked to the same Microsoft account. Now these connected devices include both your mobile versions of Android and iOS as well as desktop versions of both Mac and Windows. Now one more thing to note is like I said the Edge Drop feature is available only in the Canary builds as of now. Obviously it will be rolled out to the beta and finally to the stable versions but for now if you want to use it you have to use a Canary version. So let's talk about actually using it. Like I said the first thing that you need to do is download the Edge Canary version on your PC. Once you've downloaded and installed it then click on the horizontal three dots icon in the top right corner. In the list of options choose settings. From here, switch to the appearance settings and then enable the drop toggle. You will now see a drop icon in the address bar in the toolbar. If not, you can also access the feature from the more tools section in the context menu. Alright, so now that the feature has been added, here's how to actually use it. To share a note or a file through Edge Drop, just click on the drop icon from the toolbar and click on the blue plus icon. As you can see, you can share files which includes images, videos and documents and notes as well across your connected devices using Edge Drop. Now keep in mind that like I said Edge Drop is linked to your OneDrive account so the files that you upload here count towards your OneDrive storage. Basically if you want to share large files you will have to upgrade your OneDrive plan. Alright so you have shared the files from your desktop browser. Now how to actually receive them on your phone? Well, super simple. Just open the Edge browser on your mobile device. From here you can access the drop section from the bottom navigation bar. Once again, the feature is limited to the canary build of Edge Mobile as well. The good part here is that you do not have to go into any settings to enable it, the feature is there by default. Once you tap on it, you will see all the images, videos and notes that you've shared from the PC. You can also choose to send new notes and files from your phone to your desktop using the text box and the file attachment menu. And well, that was it. See, if you're a Microsoft Edge user, this thing comes in super handy because it not only lets you transfer files easily, but also keeps a track of everything that you've shared and keeps a constant sync. Now, the only issue here is that all of the files count against your quota of OneDrive account, so you'll probably have to upgrade it. Now, of course, there are multiple alternatives to sharing files from your PC to your phone, and we have a dedicated video on that, which you can check out here. And we have those videos both for Android and iOS devices. So I'm sure you would love to check it out. But for an ease of mind and for a normal user, Microsoft Edge Drop definitely feels like a feature that you should definitely check out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vaughn from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.